Good morning YouTube. Just wanted to give you a quick update. You haven't heard from me in a while. We're preparing for our final trip of 22 with the family. We have the van here hooked up. We're going to go quite some distance heading out west and we bought this little one room camper. Did some modifications. Put this aluminum rack on the front to hold the cooler and the shoebox for the family and a battery. We're just running the lights inside for with the battery. And I had to angle the corner so it didn't get into the van here uh, when we turn. That worked out pretty good. Customized built this stand that or step, excuse me, that removes when we are in transit. Added a couple boxes to the back corners for extra carrying room. This will not go here. This is just temporary this morning. Added this aluminum box to the back. Built all the frame. Everything is like small miniature receivers underneath. Take two bolts out and you can slide it off. Then you just have two little square tubes to the frame. You can see one right there under the license plate for that box. So it's completely customizable if you want to change, make a different bracket or something. And we've got uh, our shore power right there in the round thing. And then we have this box here. And our spare tires mounted to the side. And into the spare tires we have jumper cables zip tied to the spare so that they can't get away and everything's covered. I removed the jack and put it on the side kind of like our baler because I wanted to be able to open my hatch and the original jack which I have that can go back on would hit when we opened because I like my ball to be a little closer to the van to get a little more weight on the axle. So called a fun hauler. I haven't seen another one like it. A lot of people when I was pulling it home when I bought it wanted to purchase it. We are right at about 1800 pounds and uh, fully loaded on that. I went and weighed it. Actually just a little bit under but we've added a few more things to it. So it's going to be a fun adventure. I'm not going to tape much of the adventure, but I will give you a report on how it tows and how the 2017 Sienna is doing with it. So the adventure begins, and this is our first time of having a little RV trailer. So we're going to see how it goes. There's going to be three, three of us sleeping in there. I'll go inside in just a second and three sleeping in the van. We have little beds made and foam mattresses. Well YouTube, it's 16 days later. We're back home from the west coast. 5,700 in total miles. 5,700. And the 2017 Toyota Sienna did marvelous, marvelously. Uh, cannot complain anywhere from 13 to 18 miles to the gallon depending on the roads we were on and the wind we were fighting. Trailer did well. Uh, worked out. Camping one night. Hotel the next night when we got out there. Airbnbs. All my add-ons worked great. Uh, the weakness was I had two repairs on the fenders. They are not attached to anything. And we would hit some bumps and it would kind of rip them loose. So I had to repair them in the parking lot of a Menards one morning and then at a park the next time. So those will have to be reconfigured and brackets made and put down to the main frame. Probably we'll make them out of 16 gauge and then make a flat top so we can put another box on top of them for storage. Back toolbox worked wonderfully. Had the step there the whole time with one strap over it. We'd take it off when we needed it to get in. The hitch from eTrailers.com worked great. Carried this battery with us and would just hook it up when we wanted to run the light and unhook it when we didn't want to run the light, just like that, and kept it on there. Uh, this was a cooler for food. There's where our extra shoes was. 
Uh, it got extremely filthy on the trip. Just the road grime. So it's going to be washed and put away. Here's the fender again, the last one that broke loose. We hit a bump. You can just see that flexing. There's just nothing. They sheet metal screwed it into nothingness. Never leaked any water except for condensation from our breath. And worked great. Three people. Young man there, young man down there, and me right there. Overall assessment of the trip. We just finished unpacking more stuff. The overall assessment was, I believed, we had our purchases, of course, but this saved us money on hotels because they're quite expensive out west at times. Um, probably what I would have redid was take my brother's little quiet generator up front and a couple space heaters. There was a couple nights that got cold. You didn't want to be out from under the blankets, but it was doable and survivable. Uh, can't complain overall with the toy hauler. That's what it's called, a toy hauler made over in Indiana. I couldn't really find much on the internet, but six of us got along, three in the van, three in the trailer. Campgrounds were awesome with campground hosts. First time we've ever really RV'd, used state and national parks, slept among the humongous trees, uh, things like that. That was awesome. Met a lot of great people. 5,700 mile round trip completed. Enjoyed every minute of it. And we'll be doing it again. Uh, I am, like I said, going to modify the fenders. Make them have flat tops probably. We can put another box or something. Maybe our six gallon water jug that we carried with us. Always had to be in the van. Uh, overall, great experience. Definitely something the kids will remember. And like share and subscribe won't be doing many rv channel things nothing like that but just wanted to give you an overall view i did buy a spindle for under there from e-trailers so if i would have had a problem i've never really pulled a single axle trailer that's a 3500 pound axle didn't have a problem i did over grease it you can kind of see the grease kind of came out of the cracks because I didn't know exactly how much they would need. So they're dirty now. Um, but I didn't know if I would have a bearing issue. Never pulled anything this light. And I had a whole spindle that I could just slide on and get going again if I needed to. Instead of being broke down along the road. The only repairs we had to do was the fender mounting. It's terrible on this. Uh, kind of just thrown together in that regard. I will admit it ain't the fanciest trailer. But it was bought right. We bought it second hand from a guy that only had it as a 2021. So uh, it definitely was worth the investment to take out there. We had a composting toilet that the kids could jump in if we pulled over, go to the restroom. We could get back on the road. And we were able to have all our cooking supplies in the back trunk I built. And our camp stove in there made uh, two meals a day, and then we would eat out for the last meal. We ate out. We On this trip, we purposed not to eat at chain restaurants. We only ate three times. Last night at Wendy's, and another on the way out, we grabbed a quick burger at McDonald's to keep rolling one day. And then one other time, I don't remember what it, Oh, yeah, they went to Olive Garden while I was with a client in Washington for business and other than that we cooked our own meals and we found awesome restaurants mom and pop restaurants I call them and had a great time hope you like this video about the camper and like share and subscribe help Williams channel grow we put a lot of different content out there because we can't focus entirely on one thing with our business but we sure appreciate you guys watching Enjoy and see you in the next one. We're going to be picking some corn here soon.